Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this video here, we are exploring West Virginia. It is one epic trip, one for the memory books. I will never forget what a beautiful state West Virginia is. Sit back, get ready, and enjoy the ride. The journey starts right now. This is actually Interstate 77. We're going to drive right into a fog bank. We're heading north. We're heading up to West Virginia. Going to pick up a scenic route right up the road here. It's Highway 52, U.S. Highway 52. It's supposed to be extremely scenic. So I thought we'd check it out. All right, we're going to go right through a mountain. In this area, some of these uh, interstates and U.S. highways, they got tunnel systems straight through a mountain. These U.S. highways connect along the interstates. Should be right up the road here. We'll connect up with uh, Highway 52. Up here along this road, uh, it's a scenic byway. I found it on Google Maps. Really not sure what we're going to get into. I'm actually trucking on up towards Pennsylvania, so we're just going to skirt along the edge of West Virginia along the scenic byway highway. It's supposed to go through some old coal towns and stuff. I thought it would be kind of cool. This is a long tunnel. <laughs> made it. Our exit should be right up the road here. Blue sky. West Virginia is such a great state. Very pretty here. Be sure to check my website rvrtv.tv subscribe to the newsletter keep up on all the latest news and travels of RVR TV. Plus you can download free screensaver pictures. Once again that's rvrtv.tv. Trees everywhere. Okay here's our exit. US Highway 52. Looks like we made need to make a left then we're going to cut up to a little town called Bluefield Bluefield West Virginia it's right on the Virginia West Virginia border I think the town's actually within both states okay make a right here this is US 52 we're going to stick on this for quite a while this is actually uh considered a U.S. scenic byway for Virginia and they are right it is scenic and beautiful nice back roads and small towns here we come I was asked how I find these routes and it's pretty easy you go online and whatever area you're in you just uh, search out scenic byways US scenic byways in each state in every state they have them listed and there are dozens of them in every state and they're beautiful to ride so that's how I find these uh, highways and you can always read reviews on them map it out. Some are small, some are very long, like the Parkway was one, Blue Ridge Parkway. This US 52, it's one. Not only does it go through Virginia here, it cuts up through West Virginia Parkways, through the coal mining uh, towns and all that. So it's just a nice ride. Check it out. Once again, it's just look up scenic byways in every state. We're 
kind of following the interstate. You can see them right off to the right. This was the old original road, I'm sure. I bet before them tunnels, you had to go over these mountains, too. <laughs> That'd be a ride. Pretty place. All right, looks like 52 cuts to the right up here. I'm just going to follow the signs. Never driven through here. We're going to see what we see. This little town up here is called Rocky Gap, Virginia. Small town USA. Look at that old building straight across. Look at that thing. If those walls could talk. Cool. Alright, here we go. Our first little town on 52. Called Rocky Gap. Virginia. All these places out here have history that goes back hundreds of years. Absolutely incredible the amount of history here. That old building's covered in climbing, was it ivy or whatever? Shrubbery. Big tall pines. Oh look at that one, all brick. This is downtown Rocky Gap. There's a little post office. Everybody's got a lawn. You got to mow it. <laughs> Green. I'm sure they get snow here too. It gets they get hardcore winter. All the houses. They got the flowers, the picket fences. Oh, big school here too. I'd like to grow up in a place like this. Tractors and trucks. Looks like a repair shop. Wow. There's your white picket fences. <laughs> nice. I bet the fall colors are absolutely beautiful here. Big trees. Gorgeous. I think we connect back up here according to the map it was 77 just for a couple miles then whoa hello huh well let me wait for him too goodness okay <laughs> Welcome to Virginia. That's all I need to get in a wreck. <laughs> Goodness, that guy pulled right out in front of me. Okay, right up here, according to the phone. Yep. Make a left here. And we got to connect back with 77 just for about, I think, a couple miles. Okay, this is why. <laughs> Tunnel. Got to go through another one. 77 and 52 north. 
East Mountain Tunnel, East River, East River Mountain Tunnel. Here you go. This one's all lit up. Look at it. Boy, these trucks just roar through here. I see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we are getting really, really close to West Virginia. I mean, like, we're right there. Bingo! Here we are. Okay, we want to stay on 52. It's actually going to take us through the town of Bluefield. West Virginia. Right up there I see the state line sign right there. Okay, welcome to West Virginia. The phone program, so we should be good. Right up here, we'll cut through town. All these towns have coal mining history. It's just vast. When we leave Bluefield and head farther north on 52, there's supposed to be a ton of towns to go through that are extremely scenic. This should be... Yep. Got to make a right up here. And welcome to Bluefield, West Virginia. We're going to head to downtown. It's supposed to be have a historic area in downtown. Old buildings. Online looks like a pretty good size uh, town, I'm sure. And then on one end of it, it actually cuts back into Virginia. That's how close we are on the border. There's a bowling alley. Fifty two to the right, we'll just stay on it. Should end up in the downtown area. Here you go, this is like Mayberry. Big old houses. Look at the lawns. The hedges all trimmed. Oh my goodness. Look at this big old church right in your neighborhood. Wow. <laughs> what a life, huh? Flowers starting to bloom. Every house is this manicured. Look at this. These are old, too. Old timers. How cool. We got Little Caesar's Pizza. Okay, here we go. Got some big buildings. What are those? There's a Harley dealer. Oh, those are apartments. Look at that. Old time apartment buildings. Look at those things are old. Look how close the buildings are right on the street. And look where the telephone pole is. I mean, they're right there. Not much room for parking.
those are houses up there. They got a stairway right off the street that goes way up to their house. Definitely historic here. Old time places. Here we go. Here I think we're in downtown now. Look at the old clock right there. <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. This place is like out of a storybook. Big buildings there. That must be more apartments. Look how tall. Or a hotel maybe, huh? Wow. You don't see this everywhere. Hey, there's a town park I want to find. Should be off to the right. We'll check that out. Here you go. Gateway to the billion dollar coal field. Wow. Look at the old pictures. Railroad, hauling coal. Boomtown. History highlight. Look at this. Bluefield, West Virginia. What else we got? Railroads. Prelude to prosperity, I bet. Could you imagine? All the coal they've hauled out of here. More about the rail yards. Because it's right across the street. Like right there, here comes one in. <laughs> Look at that big silo thing. I'll be darned. Park. They got a big dog park here too. More old buildings. Those look empty. Just the architecture of these things. Still standing. I bet they'll still be standing years from now. This one was an old bar or something. Old alley going up through there. No meters on the power boxes, so they're empty. Cold beer here. <laughs> Bet they served a few of them. Pretty cool. Downtown Bluefield, West Virginia. What unique and different architecture. Old, old time. Where the chicory blooms? Huh. Must be their flowers. West Virginia, most diverse city. Wow, look at that picture, all the railroad, all the miners on the railroad car. These old pictures are priceless, aren't they? Merchants making furniture, it looks like. State College, and they got a baseball. Football. 
history. There's some of the old buildings. Some of them are still standing. We just drove past them. Bluefield Baseball. There's a baseball team. Professional baseball in 1924. Bluefield Blue Grays. The Coalfield League. I'll be darned. History upon history here. Let's cruise up that other one-way street in the downtown area. We missed these buildings. There's a laundromat. Not much parking. Parking's a premium here. Two north, we're heading out of Bluefield. This is still part of the scenic byway, and actually, this starts. It's called the Coal Heritage Scenic Byway. Well, that downtown was really, really cool. Definitely, uh, Bluefield's one to come back to. Okay, we're going to keep right on trucking. We are on Highway 52 heading north. This is scenic Highway 52 heading north. We are cutting up through West Virginia. We're going to go up through the old coal mine towns along this route. I found this online. It's uh, a scenic highway plus they call it Coal Heritage Trail. I am really looking forward to this. You know, West Virginia has been on the bucket list for so long. I have been seeing ATVs everywhere. They can drive on the road like in Arizona. That's cool. I bet with all these mountains and mining trails and ATV in and four wheeling must be huge here. This section here we're going to do about 33 miles of it cutting up through these towns. The ratings are through the roof on it. It should be a cool ride. Hope you enjoy it. It's already starting off good. Blue sky. Temperatures right in the 60s. It's supposed to be uh, getting close to 80 up here today. The weather is definitely picking up. So along US 52 from Bluefield, we're going to go up to a little town called Welch. Once again, it's 33 miles. And then from Welch, We'll take county roads. We're going to cut over to another community, or actually big town, called Beckley. We are trucking north, heading north through West Virginia. Going to end up clear up in Pennsylvania. Cool. It's already starting out pretty. Look at the house on the hill. Green grass, trees. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I'm from the desert. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Is that a horse? Look at this guy. Oh no, he's running. Look at him go. Run, little buddy. Hope he stays in this lane. 
Looks like he can get past that guardrail. He'll be okay. Heck, he's doing 20 miles an hour. <laughs> he's moving. There he goes. He's off the road. Wow. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to West Virginia. <laughs> cool. We go Coaldale. This all these communities are kind of connected. They say it's part of the old historic coal mining industrial age. Way back when coal mining was just everywhere. Probably still is. But look how they built the houses right on the road. Of course, this road probably wasn't like this back in the day. I'm sure it wasn't. very scenic. We're kind of running along uh, through a canyon. Big old uh, cliffs on both sides of us. There's a waterway down below, train track. And houses are just stuffed everywhere back up behind those trees. Okay, here's another little town. Look at these old time homes. They're still being lived in. No parking. That's what's getting me about West Virginia, these roads. There's parking in the lawn there. Telephone poles are right next to the road, right in their front lawn. <laughs> Not much real estate. White picket fence. Here you go, big old church. Look at that. Let me get this guy around me. He's right on my tail. Go on, little buddy. I'm going slow. <laughs> what a cool old town. Hey, bunch of trailers. Old RV park. ATV resort. I keep seeing that. Everybody's got an ATV here. I see them on the roads, being pulled on trailers. ATV resorts. Instead of RV parks, there's a little food mart. They got ATV resorts. I bet the trails are phenomenal. Getting up in these mountains. Oh, cool, there's a train going across the bridge here. I bet those trains just echo through these uh, hills here. This house after house. Look, that guy has parked across the road. wonder how old these are. They got to date back into, what, 20s and 30s, I bet. Once again, this is a scenic byway. It's actually called the Coal Heritage Trail. This is U.S. Highway 52. We're cutting up through uh, West Virginia. Beautiful West Virginia. Wonder what it was like to grow up here. All green in the summer, winters, trains roaring through here, houses right on the road. Bet they get floods through here too. Water cascading down the mountains. It's kind of a fast paced road. It's kind of hard to film, so hope you're enjoying the trip. I know I am. Down over that edge, there's some kind of mining equipment or 
Looks like they load railroad cars down there. If these hills could talk, huh? Goodness. Beautiful trees. What a nice drive. Okay, what do we got up here? We stay on 52. Straight ahead. Looks good. Should be another town coming up here. Pretty decent road, not too beat up. Back roads and small towns. Look how each house looked the same there. Track homes back in the day. There's Lucky's gas station. Cool. Definitely, you can. This is small town USA for sure. And for a U.S. highway, what a unique trip coming through here. These little towns are almost connected. It's only a mile or so between them. That old mobile home had seen its day. If you ever get in this neck of the world, this is a definite drive for you. Another church. Each of these little communities have a nice church. How cool is that? Right here's the town of North Fork, West Virginia. Flag flying, train tracks. See, ATVs are hauling them there. ATV resorts. Fire department right there on the right. I think this one's a pretty good sized town. Another church, house on the hill. How'd you like to mow that lawn? Look how steep it is. <laughs> what a cool community. And this is still US 52. We're kind of trucking north, northwest a little bit when we get that town. Oh, look at that. Olds, Oldsmobile Chevrolet Cadillac. Huh. Must have been a car dealer. A lot of these buildings are closed up. Not too many of them are open anymore. There's a motel. I gotta stop here. Let's stop. I gotta show you these uh, houses. Look how they're up on the hill. Let me get parked. We'll get a picture of these. Look at these things, they're up there. Look at uh, the growth around the building. All that climbing plants just all over it. Those windows are busted out of that one. So someone must be abandoned. And over there there's a diner, buffet, big boys, and a dollar store. The dinner bucket. Big boys, family dollar. I bet that's a popular place. 
and more buildings. See, they're all kind of closed up, all closed down. Probably in the day, these streets were packed, full of miners, families, kids. Small town USA in West Virginia. Another little restaurant there. They must all park in the street. I'll be darned. Cool. Pure rock walls. You see little chunks of rock laying in the road. They just cut this road right through here. Right back in the day, dynamited right through it. Two big old excavators sitting there right alongside of the road. Nice railroad tracks right here. Yeah, I bet when them trains roll through here, they really echo. That'll rock you to sleep. Here we go. This must be downtown. Wow, look at this. Look how close to the road it is. I keep saying that, but just amazing. Uh, look at the kids. Probably waiting for a school bus. I'll be doing gas station. Quick stop. Just brick building after brick building. North Fork, West Virginia. These lawns are, some of them are just gorgeous. Years, decades, generations to landscape all this stuff. We think we're getting into that last town, Welch, West Virginia. We're going to be leaving 52 up here pretty quick. Yep, here's a split in the road. 52 will continue on to the left, but we're going to pick up, I think it's like County Road 16. 16 north so there's 52 so long what a nice ride family dollar this is a pretty good sized town here I think back road small town Have you ever seen architecture right on a street like this? I know I keep saying it. It's so cool looking. Mow the lawn, flowers on the porch.
just to have a front porch to sit on. Watch the world go by. Some of these places are absolutely like a mansion. Then way up on the hill you can see little houses tucked in up there. How they get up there, my goodness. No wonder they got ATVs here. State Farm Insurance building there. Yeah, some of it's pretty modern. We're in Welch, pretty good sized town. Another truck. Not a lot of room in these roads for big trucks. Okay, we're staying on 16. This looks like their downtown district. Nice. Welch Municipal Building. Wow. Perfect. What I need to do here, make a right. We're staying on 16 North. There's DB's. DB's Lounge right there. <laughs> Stop and get a cold one. Citizen Drug Store. Old bank. Probably the courthouse is down here somewhere. Yep. Courthouse. Knew it. <laughs> Downtown Welch. Look how high up. I mean, you got to be in pretty good shape just to hike up to your front door. <laughs> How oh, cool. Okay, what do we got here? 16 trucks. So, ooh, ooh, nine foot clearance. I won't make that. Nine foot. Oh, it's 12 foot off to the left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That would have taken the top of the van off. Well, I need to stop here a second, check maps. There's very few places to pull off. So let me check the phone here. Boy, that underpass there kind of worried me for a minute. I thought I was going to have to stop. Nine foot and twelve foot. What a beautiful ride, beautiful communities, what a state. Coal Heritage Trail, US 52 Scenic Byway. Put that on your bucket list. What a ride for 33 miles. My goodness. Okay, now we're heading over to a town called Beckley on this uh, 16. We are on Highway 16. We're heading over to Beckley. We're just leaving Welch. Wasn't that a neat ride going through uh, that Heritage Coal Trail? But from Welch over to Beckley, it's about 50 miles. We're going to drive through a couple more small towns. This is part of the Heritage Trail as well, too, is Highway 16. I don't think there's as many towns as there was on that other stretch on Highway 52, but we'll see what we can find. Also online, I've seen pictures of this old abandoned building, and hopefully we can find it. I think we will. Yay! Anyway, should be a fun ride. Check it out. See, most people would have stayed on an interstate and drove 77. You would have been from Bluefield to Beckley in about 
a little over an hour. <laughs> but instead, spend a half a day and do these uh, scenic byways. You won't go wrong. You won't regret it. Just uh, one pretty, pretty place. Oh, cool. Here's that town. It's like Eitman. I-T-A-M-A-N-N. Eitman, Eitman. There it is. There's that big abandoned building. Look at it on the left. I've seen all kinds of pictures of this thing online. Let's stop. Check it out. I bet it's haunted. <laughs> cool. There's a storyboard that we'll read. Let's check this out. Look at this stonework on it. This has to date back into what, 20s probably? 20s or 30s. All the wind is busted out. It's sitting here rotten now. Pretty cool. Look at the heavy duty metal on in there. Wow. <laughs> Old time architecture. Still standing. Guarantee you this thing would stand for another hundred years. I don't know what those were. <laughs> well, let's go check out that sign. There it is. The old steps. The big sign said Rehabilitation Center or something. Eitman. Wow. Belonged to a coal mine. The guy, Isaac T. Man. Italian. Masons. 1928. They closed it in 86. I'll be darned. Look at this thing. So they used it for, what, 60 years? Look at the glass above the doorway. Just massive. The door's open. Stick the camera in there a second. locked. Boo! <laughs> there it is. And them walls could talk, huh? Well, I had to see it. There's all kinds of pictures of this thing online. It's more West Virginia history. Coal Heritage Trail. See, that says Stonehaven Homeless Rehabilitation Service. So that must have been used for a lot of different things. Too cool for school. All right, we got another little town we're going to go through called Mullins, and then we're heading up to Beckley. There's a uh, coal mine. Uh, museum. I'd like to stop. We got enough time today. We'll check that out. Then from Beckley, we're continue on north. We're heading up towards Pennsylvania. Yay! Right, this should be a little town of Mullins, West Virginia. Here comes an ATV. Here comes another one. I'll tell you, they're popular here. All kinds of, you see them everywhere. ATV resorts. A couple more. A lot of Can-Ams, big razors, nice. All right, another little coal mine in town. It's probably a pretty good sized town. Houses up on with the big brick wall. 
train tracks running through here probably. Small town USA right here, Mullins, West Virginia. Back road, small towns. Church with a steeple. All these communities got at least one or more churches. A town where everyone knows your name. Guarantee a local gossip is always around. Them. <laughs> Love it. Little basketball court off to the right. Houses all fixed up. Yeah, this is a nice place. And what do we have here? Looks like this is their downtown. Big old buildings. Little shops. Pretty cool. Old districts, hotel. The history here is just keeps going, doesn't it? Another state farm. That must be a popular insurance company here. There's a highway right off to the right. That's the one we got to take up to Beckley. We gotta go back to the modern world. Alright, let's stop here. I wanna go straight. Let's go straight. Check these buildings out real quick before we get back on the main road. American Medical. Looks like the phone company. Ashley Lodging, huh? Why well, bet hunting is big here too. Huh? There's a Walgreens. Okay. What else we got? A little river here. More neat houses. I had to run through here. Check out the neighborhood. At least they got driveways. Everything's paved. This is a nice place. What's this? Middle school. How's it like to go to an old school like that? Oh my goodness. Bet that goes way back. Oh, I gotta go find that highway. <laughs> Oh, look at the lady planting flowers on her porch. It's like Mayberry, huh? Mullins, West Virginia. Part of the scenic byway, the Heritage Coal... The Coal Heritage Trail. Boy, you park on the street and that's it. Two cars are parked there, you'd be out of luck. <laughs> Okay, according to the phone, I gotta make a left here. Then we'll be back on the highway up to Beckley. We go 121 is gonna take us straight into Beckley. We'll go find that old uh, coal museum. It's supposed to be a reconstructed museum where they brought in all the buildings from all the outlying areas and reconstructed uh, it. They're supposed to have a nice museum there. It's got high ratings online. Wow, look at these uh, walls here, the canyon walls. Look how they layered, they carved right through this thing. Of course it's mining country, they got the equipment to do it, but look at this. Beautiful.
All right, this looks like all four lane road. If I see something good, I'll click the camera back on. See you in Beckley. All right, we're almost into the big town of Beckley. Okay, I got back on 16. We're a few blocks off from that uh, coal museum. I need to stop up here, get some fuel, then I'll go find that museum. Dinky locomotive. <laughs> We're at the museum. I just got parked. There's some old pictures. There's our little mo locomotive. Represents the museum. This place is huge. Look at the building. They got a bunch of outbuildings, museum here. Raleigh County Coal Mine. Sign here. Wow, they employed over 14,000 people a year. Cool. Let's go check it out. Company store and the museum. Southern Museum. Look at the pictures. Oh my goodness. Wow. Old coal mines. I guess they brought these buildings in from all over the state. Reconstructed them right here. As, as original as they could make them. Museum's upstairs. This is like their gift shop. Let's go up and check it out. There's the gift shop. It's like 20 bucks to get a pass for in here. Alright, here's their museum. Really good, uh, reviews online about this. Pictures of all the miners. I bet they were close. A lot of them were friends. All their families knew each other. Well, they lived and worked together. Just a different time. Sure not like nowadays, huh? Really good pictures. See what else we got. Wow, look at that picture. The old shopkeeper. All the goodies on the wall, cash register. Accounting stuff, book work. Baseball. Safety. Safety, oh man, back in them days, Safety was a different world. Petrified trees. Looks like chunks of rock, probably out of the mines. Source of coal, 300 million years ago. Huh. All 
kinds of good stuff. This is a well done museum. Fossils and rocks. Zora, Big Mama Stroud. Wow. She just retired. Good for her. Congratulations. Forty plus years of mining. A lot of the tools they used back in the day. Shows you how far we've come in uh, technology. Now there's a machine for everything. Well, well done. We'll go outside and check them out, buildings. Huh. Old shower house when they had to clean up after they got out of the mines. Ooh, those are important. They're ID tags. Showed who was in the mine and who wasn't. Huh. Another tribute to a miner. Here you go. Need a helmet? <laughs> wow. Got the lamps on them. Because down those mines, you didn't have much room. All the dust and everything. That's a nice helmet. Look at that one. Got his lunch bucket ready, heading down to the underground. What a life. Okay, cool. There's another picture. And all their lunch buckets. All metal. Well, not bad. Not bad little museum. Glad I stopped. All right, let's go outside. We'll check out them buildings outside. The coal camp. Needle pitchers. statue of a miner. That's cool. And they got their sign here for the Beckley Coal Mine. Oop. Here's their outdoor museum. Supposed to have a bunch of old relic homes. Well, that's weird. Peace. Okay. Look how they converted the old uh, cars here. Like offices. It's all for kids in there. We're going to go back. Here's the buildings. Now, all these buildings were supposed to have been imported straight off properties from all over the state, different coal mine areas, and reconstructed as close as they could make it. Must be like their little general store here, a wood stove, coal, yeah, <laughs> not wood, coal, huh? Old scales. Pretty good. What's in here? They're weaving fabric. Look at that. It's kind of like that museum we seen on the parkway, that one. A 
old plows and stuff. Growing their food. Old shed full of moonshine. Oops. <laughs> One thing they knew how to make good old uh, high uh, high octane alcohol, huh? <laughs> Here's the house, big old loft with a bed on it, fireplace. That's how they live. No TVs or computers in here, huh? Just a different time. Old workshop. Oh, look at the grinding wheel. All kinds of good stuff. Horse stuff. Saddles. Cool. Well done place. Very well done. What's this one? Blacksmith. Look at all the coal. They didn't run out of fuel, did they? Old, even old brick on the floor. Huh. They thought of everything. All right. Well, up on the hill, there's a church. We can go inside. Church on a Hill, just like a song title, huh? Way up there. Probably got a bell up there. Let's go inside, doors open. Wow, nice. Really nice woodwork. Another stove. But they burn coal. <laughs> Sorry, the camera's kind of flickering a little with the lighting. Oh, look at the old organ. Got the pedals where they pumped it. Pretty good. Let's see what else I got. Aha, a sign. Coal Camp Church. Uh oh, I know what this little building is. <laughs> There you go, the outhouse. Doesn't flush. <laughs> he said there's no bathroom in the house. <laughs> <laughs> they spent some bucks putting this together. And here's one of their houses. Look at the old stove to cook on. Pots and pans and dishes. Old calendar. Look at 1941 calendar. Wow. That that makes it real. 1941. Miner's house. They built thousands of them. Right, here's one called a shanty. One room shanty. Bachelor of shanty. Wow. It's 
this one say? Single or married. Home away from home. Tiny little bed. Look how small the beds are. Little table and a stove. Kind of like an RV, huh? <laughs> Okay, there's one more big building over the other side. We'll go over and check that out. This is a schoolhouse, a big one. There it is. Big schoolhouse. And they hauled this in and rebuilt it right here. Look at the wood floor. They spent some serious dollars bringing all this stuff in here. Look at the old kids' desk teacher up there yelling at them. Do your homework. <laughs> Very well done. Good little stop. If you're in this uh, town, Beckley, West Virginia, definitely stop. Check this out. Well, go find the van. They had RV parking here too. Plenty of parking. Well, gonna go find, I think it's US Highway 19. We're heading north. We're on US 19, heading north. We're going to be heading up towards Pennsylvania, but first we're going to cross over one massive bridge. This is called the New River Gorge. Big bridge, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's check it out. Here we go. Look at the fog. <laughs> figures gonna film it this foggy I don't care hold on this thing is way up in the air <laughs> look at the gorge in that there's a postcard picture for you fog lane down through there it's supposed to be a visitor center up here we'll stop in a little walkway we can walk down and check it out too should be cool. We got blue sky, but not for long. Rain's coming in, going to be driving straight into it. Supposed to have a few days of rain. Oh well, make the best of it. Wow, this is way up here. <laughs> I've always seen pictures. The little town back there was Fayetteville. Went through to get here. Wasn't that Cole Heritage Trail neat driving that thing through the hills of West Virginia? What a beautiful state. I, I could live here. All right, this should be the exit here. Looks like it. Yep. All right, well, let's stop and we'll check it out. New River Gorge National Park. I think it's a preserve, too. Wildlife preserve. It's early, it's before nine. It might not be open yet. We'll walk around first. Beat the crowds. Of course, you know me on the road early. Yeah, there's hardly any cars here. 
cool. Green grass, green trees. It's like uh, some trails off to the right. I see people walking. I think that's that path you take to you can see the bridge. There's the big visitor center. Not open yet. Alright, well, let's get parked. Wander around, spend a little time, relax. Thank goodness it's still blue sky. Oh, cool looking class B there. Travato, nice. Alright, well, let's go check it out. Yeah, this bridge is pretty famous. I've seen it on different programs and whatnot. Probably made it in some movies. There's the van all by itself. Good parking here. There's a little campgrounds and whatnot around. But we're continuing on the road. Well, the building's not open itself yet. It's early. Let's hike around first. Then we'll go on the inside when we, before we leave. Got to be a view back here. What do we got? Oh yeah. It drops way off. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Wow. Oh, okay. Storyboard. Industrial past. Wow. There's the river down there. What's this one? About the wildlife here. And there's the map. It's a watershed, I'm sure. Probably flooding and all that. That is way down there. Look at the rapids. They probably do rafting and kayaking and fishing. It's quite a place. You get lost down there too. That fall colors are nice here. Look at that big rock boulder. But when the leaves are gone, it really opens up. You can see a lot more. Yeah, it's one thing driving through that coal heritage. The trees and forest are so thick, you couldn't see a lot in a lot of areas. All right, well, let's go find that trail. All the birdies just singing and chirping, they're happy. <laughs> okay, another map of the area. This place is huge, big park, big national park. We got here. Quick guide. Bring water. Let's be safe. Another map. I got lots of maps. Look at them old pictures. Back when they were building that bridge. Well, let's go for a walk.
see if we can't find this thing. Really hear the traffic off that uh, highway. That was U.S. Highway 19. You know, I get asked a lot how I find these places. And part of my research before I drive through an area is I go to the National Park website, see what's around. This one popped up, I didn't know. Almost everything in the last couple of weeks has been totally unplanned. So you just gotta look. What's this? Plaque, com let's see, oh, register. 2013. Wow, there it is. We just drove across that thing. Hiking. Wow, mountain climbing. It was pretty cool. Like a big old walkway. Look at the angles in it. They uh, built this around rocks underneath. <laughs> wow. Let's see if you can see the bridge. Oh, there's a big stairway going down. Oh boy. <laughs> it's your pleasure. More about mountain climbing. Ooh, that's when they're building it. Look at that. Imagine having a job like that. Ooh. Wow. Huh. Cool. Well, let's head down them stairs. hundred and seventy eight steps down and that means it's a hundred and seventy eight coming up <laughs> okay I got it in me let's try it yeah look at the angles they just built this just to fit the terrain there's big boulders underneath here probably went around trees storyboard see what it says but the trees and the wildlife yeah these trees are huge pretty there's a little benches you can set so you can take your time going down this thing I see the bridge through those trees are a little bit hopefully we get a good picture of it I'd say we got about another 150 steps to go. <laughs> it's coming up, it's a killer. <laughs> yeah, what West Virginia is just one pretty place. All kinds of scenery everywhere. Hills, mountains, streams, a lot of trains, train tracks, coal mining. Pretty cool. Now you can see the bridge. There it is. There it is, right there. We'll keep going down. This is 
it. There it is. Needs a paint job. See it that we just drove across that thing. It is quite the span. There's the new river down there. Just another feat of engineering right there. Still thinks it needs a paint job. New River. What a cool place to get a chance to stop. Check this out. Another little bridge down there. That was probably the old road. Oh. I'll be darned. Huh. You can imagine going on the old road. You'd have to wind down these mountains. Wasn't like what it is today. Pretty good. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Let's go up top. See if that uh, visitor center's open yet. Boy, you can really hear the traffic just screaming across that thing. Well, we made it <laughs> all 178 down and, well, still got a couple more to left. <laughs> Look how they built this thing right against a rock. That is quite a bit of engineering and cutting. My goodness, all the cuts they had to make in this wood. Pretty impressive, really. Not a trip for the faint of heart, though. A lot of hiking down and back. All right, let's go check out that visitor center. All right, it's open. Here we go. Big old postage stamp. Wow, they always got the best pictures in these places. Look at that. Big old aerial view out of a plane or copter or something. Pretty picture. That'd make a postcard. Topographical. Style map, 3D, shows the gorge, part of the park here. There we are, way down here in the corner. Well, well done, small visitor center. Oh, cool. These are the pictures I like seeing, how that was built. There's the old bridge. Wow, look at the cable they had. Could you imagine <laughs> holding up all that steel with that cable? Woof. Pretty cool. Here's the end result. New Gorge Bridge. All right, well, let's cruise out to the van. OK, 
can really feel the humidity picking up. Still not used to that compared to out in Arizona. For more information on me and my travels, check out RVRTV.tv. Be sure to sign up for our free newsletter. Get all the latest info. Once again, it's RVRTV.tv. Nice little stop. Once again, they got campgrounds here. Pretty primitive, but you can camp. All kinds of hiking and climbing and rafting and fishing. This would be one for a long weekend or something. Really wasn't too crowded. All right, we're going to head on up. Uh, this is what, US 19 North. We're going to pick up some interstates. I'm actually going to fast track it a little bit. Run a little bit behind schedule. Heading to Pennsylvania. Going to visit friends. West Virginia did not disappoint. What a beautiful state. That Coal Heritage Drive, the museum in Beckley, seeing the new River Bridge, Gorge Bridge, all the trees, the trains, everything. Nice people, nice state. Definitely RV friendly. Check it out. I'm glad I did. Want Interstate 68 East. Gonna head through Cumberland and cut up on into Pennsylvania. Thank you for watching the Once in a Lifetime series. This West Virginia trip was definitely one for the memory books. I will never forget it. Be sure to check out future once in a lifetime videos coming out throughout the year. We'll have Pennsylvania, Idaho, Washington State, all over the U.S. Thanks for watching, all.